Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode on my channel. If you guys tuned into the last one, you noticed it was Friendsgiving. So guys, if you're watching this, happy Thanksgiving to all of you and to Cam and Cam. Thank you for hosting us. The food was delicious. I didn't expect it to come out that well because honestly, I've never seen you guys cook turkey in your life, but it was good. And I will come back if you guys invite me next year. So thank you for that. And to everyone who brought all their dishes on the side, everything was good. I ate everything and I went into straight food coma right after. Yeah, so today's is kind of a gloomy day. It's one of those fall days where you don't know if you want to go out and do anything, but I'm going to force myself to go out and do something. But first, I have to grab breakfast because Ash is on her way, and she's hungry. So, classic food. See ya. We've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> okay, so we got a quick snack, and a quick snack turned into like eight items. So. <laughs> Went to the Boss Bakery inside of Crystal Mall, and Ash is going to do a little unboxing. Ooh. So, Ash, break down what we got up in here. Okay, so we got barbecue pork bun, pineapple bun, but I'm not sure what's inside. I think it's like stuffed with something. Um, we got these little, they're called like Mexico buns, and then a wiener bun, brings back the childhood memories, and a chicken tart. He didn't want to spill all over the car, so he's just outside. <laughs> Classic. We end up at the mall again, <laughs> Metro Town. Every weekend we do this, why? Okay, so after going to Metro Town, we didn't find anything we liked. We walked around, but we did run into someone we saw. Oh, that was a bad noise. So we're back at Crystal Mall. We're gonna meet Derek and Miranda for some food. And you already know what it is, our classic Sunday ritual. Grab Asian food and chill with Derek and Mer. Ash, can I have a twenty dollar bill, please? Mm. <laughs> I need twenty dollar bill too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so today's menu: I got the barbecue pork and shrimp fried rice. Derek with the classic beef brisket, mm -hmm. and we got some soup dumplings. Ashes is in here yet, so. It'll be soon. And we got some lemon teas, because I'm not feeling too well. All right, guys, so I don't look too well. I'm not feeling too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Walmart right now, and I'm going to grab some tea because I need some, and a few extra ingredients because I'm going to try and make some rice rolls. I'm not too hungry right now, but I got to put something in my stomach. All right, guys. I am back and I have the rice roll ingredients. So there was a lot of things that I could not get, which was like, usually typically in a salad roll, you'll have your vermicelli noodles, you'll have um, your bean sprouts, but I couldn't find either of those things tonight. So I substituted with just some spring mix. I don't know if this is the correct thing to use. And then we're gonna use chicken and some basil. So I have some chicken going that I've already marinated with soy sauce and garlic right here. So I'm just gonna line my pan uh, with aluminum foil. That'll be good. We're gonna put some oil down. And then I'm gonna put in the chicken. Is this recording? I'm not sure. Let's stick our chicken thighs just on here. Throw away this bag. Don't want that. And we're just gonna move these around. All right, perfect. So those are good to go. Make sure you wash your hands after Dealing with chicken, I'm sure you guys know that. Disgusting. Guys, this will take about like 30, 35 minutes, so I will be back in just a second here. Okay, so in the meantime, I've made myself a tea. I'm actually not gonna go two tea bags in there. Maybe that'll be good. Nice. There's two in there. Gonna grab some water. Ooh, I almost touched that. I almost burned myself. All right, I hope this heals me. All right guys, so I have the ingredients going. I've got them all ready. So we've got some rice wraps here, some warm water on a plate that we can dip our rice wraps in to get them all um, flexible. Uh, right now they are look like little plastic sheets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this in water for five seconds. Derek and Miranda just came home from their Thanksgiving dinner, but now I'm preparing mine. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds and we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready. So in front of me, I have some basil, and I also have some spring mix that I was showing you guys earlier. So we're gonna rip that open. And usually you'd use pork 
or something off the bone, but I only had chicken thighs, so I'm just gonna try and go through that. I'm just gonna rip off some of the meat off of it to make it easier. Oh, that's piping hot. Ow, that's hot still. It's hot. Ow! Ow, that's hot. Okay, so some of that meat is off. So, I'm just gonna wipe off some of my grease off my hands here, and it looks like our rice wrap is ready to go. So, first thing I'm gonna do is lay down the foundation of some spring mix. I think that'll do. And I'm gonna put a couple of leaves of basil in here, or basil if you prefer, Just like that. And then I'm gonna grab some chicken right here, put those in there. Um, you know what, I'll put a bit of the skin in here, Get a little bit, and then put a little bit more meat. So right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it up. So what I like to do is just grab this end up here. And I'm gonna fold in the Chicken. ends. Chicken! Derek's got a little background action going here. And then I'm just gonna roll it up. So just like you would a burrito, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up, and there you have it, a salad roll. Looks pretty good, but We'll see. That's the first one down. I'm gonna do a couple more here, and then I'm gonna get to eating. <laughs> and guys, there you have it. We have chicken salad rolls that don't have any of the conventional Vietnamese <laughs> stuff in it, but that's okay. I uh, made do with what I had and what the grocery had available, so there you guys have it. Taste test, important part of the process. Oh yeah, that's really good. Guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching today's video. Guys, if you like this, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Guys, come back for the next video because I love making these for you. We'll see you guys. Peace.